He's lying. Look at him. He's a crow. He wasn't sent here by anyone. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. Get out of my face. You're in no position to give orders, Crow. I could have killed you out there. As easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. He's a crow. Nothing more. Bitter. The Forester's sigil. Harida Is. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She follows my orders. I'm surprised you haven't killed her yet. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. We knew this day would come. But we thought it would be Lord Gregor, not you. There's a reason he's not here. Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago. Betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know. Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. We can't trust an Oathbreaker. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. Whites. Gregor went Fenden Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonies! What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll fight. But only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. 
We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. I'll untie her, but she'll need to be watched. That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. Thank you, Garrod. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrod. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready! Aye. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. But, but I haven't done anything wrong. Those are my private chambers. Your privacy is the least of your worries, milady. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean... someone's plotting against me? How do you know this? My friend does the guardhouse call. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you... If they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She will protect us. We don't need Lady Marjorie. I can handle this myself. Have you gone mad? Without her, you're left with no protection. They could gut you in an alley and no one would say nothing. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? I have to get out of the keep, or I'm done for. You, my lady? We're in this together, like it or not. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. I need allies, Tom. Allies with real power. If I can get an audience with Cersei, maybe she'll put a stop to this. I don't like it. But I can get her a message if it's what you want. In the meantime, there's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. Meet me there. Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy. Take him.
gates are down. Archers at the ready. The foot soldiers are armed, for whatever that's worth. Talia and Elena. In the cellars, where they'll be safe. You should be with them, my lady. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton, and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> he must be shedding in his britches. A coward. Go fuck yourself, Lord. Don't blame me for this, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. It will not be yours. Ryan, bring the gift. Uh, no. What's he doing? I brought you something to mount on your wall. Come on, lad. Hold it up so your brother can see. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, you should have seen the rest of him! Or what's left after we fed it to the dogs? Oh, sham him! Does he have no limits? Avert your eyes, my lady. That bastard! How could he? The next pikes for you, Lord! I'll see to it myself. Oh, oh he's beginning to bore me. Take the gate! Good. This is Duncan's fault. I've been in many sieges, but because of him, the White Hills know our numbers, our defenses, the strength of our gate, and they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have hours, maybe less. Once they break that gate, Ironrath will fall. The problem isn't Ryan, it's Lord fucking White Hill. Cut the head off the snake, this all goes away. Now this is a plan. But how? They'll storm the keep the moment we open the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Royland, the map. A small enough party could sneak out the Poston gate. If we cut through the forest and along this hunting trail, we'd end up here. Behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, take out Lud, and maybe get your brother back in the bargain. My lord, I'm all in favor of acting decisively. But if you're caught out there, it's all over. This war, your house, your brother's life. Mira may live, but your mother won't. Antalya, all I'm saying is keep your head on out there, Roderick. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because Asher already paid us. Then we leave this shit cold land. We'll either have won or we'll all be. Ah! <laughs> arrows! We need arrows! Royland, I'm trusting you with the defense of Ironrath. They may have greater numbers, but they have none of our fight. must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. Elena, why aren't you inside? Your master wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I sacrificed everything to be here, Roderick. 
Tell him I belong here, at Iron Rock. Tell him I make my own choices. My lady, this is foolishness. Call it what you want. When Roderick wins, I want to be here to see it. Nothing to say then. Well, I won't flee from a battle that's barely begun. My lady, please. Roderick, we have to go now. May the gods be with you today. I'll be praying for you. Be careful. The gate won't hold much longer. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. She's left the key! Search the area! Lady Mira. There she is! Take her! What's all this? <clears throat> My good sirs, there's no need for that. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can! What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Nothing you need concern yourself with, Lord Morgren. Really? Yet my pockets are a few dragons lighter, and here you sit in my litter. I'd say my concern just saved your skin. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although... You've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake, working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. Hold up, Lord Morgren. That's my family's Ironwood you're talking about. Well, for now at least, you're right. But probably not for long. You're clever, Mira. Breaking into the imp's chambers and stealing that decree. That was bold. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironwrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mera. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. I have powerful allies. One word to Cersei, and you'll be in the cell next to Andros. You're mistaken, Mira Forrester. No one is coming to your aid. 
We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. This can't be true. Lord Gregor was an honorable man. But a man all the same. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. I fought the phrase. I fought the dead. It wasn't easy. But I've endured worse. I can tell. Not many can survive this far north of the Wall. But here you are. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan!
Gott! Finn! Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. It's just another white. Mm. The sooner they're burned, the better. You fought well for a crew. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. I fought worse. Is that right? Traitors and murderers at the Twins. Whites, far north of the Wall when there were only three of us. And the man who killed my family. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. You don't look well, Elsera. It's not the first time this has happened. I should return to the village. Fulgor and Vysenir. Did you not hear me? Fulgor and Sona! What? Wait! Fulgor and Vysenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsera's a fool to keep taking these risks. She's protecting the Grove. She thinks her warriors are the answer. But not if she can't control them. And now it's gone too far. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. 
That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Einrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. No. That's not why I'm here. Lord Gregor told me the North Grove can never be lost. And if he were still alive, he'd tell you. Ironrath can never be lost. Family's more important than this. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. <laughs>